welcome this is the energy vibration reading love reading that is for the cancer sun moon and rising pick up your monthly readings they're out and please subscribe subscribe and share these readings cross watch is very very important so let's see what's coming up for you cancers in love in the first week you're dealing with karma you are dealing with karma with a soulmate and this could be a fair skin guy or you could be the fair skin guy dealing with karma now you want fun you want to have fun you know you're there and you want to have fun and you're you're in a karmatic relationship with someone and what is coming up for the karma is that you want to get out of this relationship you're planning to get out of the relationship but you know that there's going to be a lot of conflicts coming up but you're planning it on getting out of this relationship um because you think that the relationship has run its course and you're really wants to get out and move on with your life so that is coming up in the first week for someone out there now the soulmates are here and it is the crowning of the first week you're seeing a situation your intuition was correct about um, a Pisces cancer or a scorpion um, this person who you are seeing or thinking about it is your soulmate so some of you young people met someone who is a Pisces who um, is in your age group or that sort of a thing but um, you you think that they're your soulmate and you yes the the, the um, the confirmation is yes they are your soulmate okay they are your soulmate and this could be a man 45 years and older that is a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn there they are your soulmate so you're seeing the situation right so for some of you young people definitely you have met someone and you just have a feeling that you have known this person in a past lifetime the confirmation is yes they are your soulmate so the fair skin people in the first week fair skin blue eyes what's in your love you you want to you want to walk away from a relationship but you felt as if you're going to be leaving this person out in the cold but and this person you know they have kids with you and they know you want to leave they don't trust you they know you want to leave um, some of you are getting divorced because justice is here and you are leaving you know you have decided to leave and you're getting a divorce you know that this is ending and you're feeling bad for your wife with the kids behind and she's just not trusting that you're going to be doing the right thing she's just really not trusting so um, definitely justice is coming up on you for I don't know what it could be that you have mishandled a child or a child or whatever you have done but uh, um, whatever the separation is and this divorce is uh, it's, it's it's happening and you know that something is coming to an end you're worried about your wife some of you women are worried about uh, um, and you're right you're, you're not trusting a situation and you're trying to protect yourself from this person this person could be coming in your life and you're not or is in your life but you're not trusting this person and you're trying to protect your child from this situation whatever is happening whatever is as if you're not trusting you are not trusting this person coming in your life or this person could be in your life and you're like I'm not trusting something is off and uh, I, and yes it is okay second week there is some traveling coming up and the children are here and short term so some of you could be traveling to see kids some of you you have kids but you want your freedom that is what is coming up some of you have kids but you want your freedom some of you find that it's too much work um, some of you are going to definitely be traveling and through your travels you're going to be meeting um, a businessman 
um, through an organization and some positive yes yeah, so you're going to be definitely co connecting with this person um, it doesn't have to be a business it can be a businessman or a business woman but it's via your travel that this person you're definitely going to be connecting with this person via your travels this is someone who is in business or um, it's quite wealthy but it's going to be a very successful relationship if you choose to be in this relationship it's definitely definitely going to be very successful so go for it so some of you could be traveling some of you could be meeting this person through business um, this could be um, a business relationship but you had to travel and you're going to be whoever um, this other party is you uh, this person is really um, financially stable rich he's this person is really rich and whatever is transpiring whatever is happening definitely go with this person um, because this person is going to be bringing you not only financial stability but also love and happiness in your world now some of you have kids but it's as if you're realizing that it's it's not what you really wanted so some of you are just going to decide to end your marriage because you're um, it's as if oh god this is too much I just want to have my own space and my own time and it's as if you thought you're there thinking because you think I really I, I, I really care about my kids but this is not I just I feel choked up and you're just going through menopause so don't make any decision to walk away from your marriage or your relationship because of the kids but you're but it, it's like it comes up for a moment and then you think no I want to reconcile. I, I I'm no no my kids I can't do this to my kids it's that you're reconsidering it and it's not that you're leaving for someone else it's just that you're tired of you know carrying the kids and blah 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 and that and that and 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 it's as if oh can I just sleep in my bed for another moment but you're going to be thinking no I can't do this I, I really can't do this the kids didn't ask to be in this and I think for you it's a it's a feeling of menopause and receiving for you for whoever this is happening men and women do have menopause okay um, women have it physically but men have it mentally okay because men wants the car or the this or men wants to go with young women and then they realize that uh, when they, they you know because menopause stop and then you think what the hell did I do <laughs> you know? okay the world um, okay so here it's as if some of you were healthy balance everything was happening uh, you love yourself you're connecting with yourself things are happening for you and whatever the regrets was whatever the short-term relationship was it's if okay you know I've gone through this and it's okay uh, the cycle is broken I've gotten over the whatever was happening and it's cool I'm happy but bam some little thing is gonna come in and said hey do you want to taste this it's like someone is gonna bring a little lollipop and said hmm do you want to taste this or don't you want to taste this because I want to give this to you some of you could be married and you're gonna be meeting someone and you're gonna think no I can't no I don't want to no, know I, I can't do this you're not gonna do it you're gonna think no I'm not taking one taste and screw up my whole life so kudos that's good that that's 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 good some of you that's good congrats let's look in the third week and see what's happening with you guys okay so we have the young entrepreneur the court the men Ooh, you're be texting and communicating Ooh, and dating hot 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 so so there's a lot of young people um 
who will be dating, communicating, going out on the town, seeing a lot of people, um, having these, what do you call them? Partner function, that sort of a thing. I'm seeing the women feeling, God, I feel like I am just 20 when you're just uh, 65 going on 70. But anyway, it's you. Do your thing, girl. Do your thing. Okay, so courting men, what is happening? Okay, so some of you courting men was courting someone and now you're trying to keep them off at bay because that didn't work out. It wasn't what you wanted, you know? It was like, oh, you were seeing someone and you think, yeah, this, and then you, you're like, I think one of you woke up and saw this uh, person without makeup and decided not to go any further. And you're thinking, no, let, let, let me go for something else. And, you know, women, that's how men are, okay? So we have these, like, young entrepreneur, and, you know, too much alcohol, you end up with someone in your bed, and then the next morning you think, I gotta go, I gotta go, don't want this anymore. <laughs> that is going to be happening for some of you. So, um, yeah, a lot of communication is going on. A lot of people are dating people and a lot of communication. And this is really good because um, what is transpiring is that some of you, um, you're re really, re really, really realizing that you were seeing someone and you felt as if, uh, um, this person was there, but you, their heart was somewhere else. And somehow, either you're going to be getting a text message or someone is going to call you or a conversation is going to come up. And you're going to be finding out, yeah, you were right. You know, um, and... You're gonna be happy about it because you you're gonna be like oh my god I'm so glad I didn't invest anything in this and that is good because um, it's as if you you just have the feelings that this 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 person is, is not really whatever is happening this person is uh, and uh, some of you are, you're gonna be finding out that this person like the same sex you know it's like you both are the opposite sex you were seeing each other but the um you, you felt as if there was someone else yes but it's a same sex relationship this person wanted not an opposite sex relationship so don't judge don't judge yourself there's nothing wrong with you it's just that this person the other person wants to be in a same-sex relationship and wasn't ready to get out of the closet and you felt something off and you stepped back and started communicating with this person so don't feel bad it has nothing to do with you um this person is going to tell you the truth and you're going to be understanding and they're going to say hey has nothing to do with you but it's just something that i have to experience for myself and that's it and you're happy that this person told you because you know you're not left stuck not knowing what has transpired so this is this is really good i'm you know this this is good that the person told you that it's not you it's just them want to experience something so you know you could be dating this person and you realize that you know you have dated you've gone out a couple of times person ever sleep over and that sort of a thing and then you start to question the person and they really tell you what has been going on with them and uh, um, it's gonna build a friendship um, even though you had hope but it's gonna be a friendship and the universe because you accept this person for who they are the universe is going to fast to bring you in the right person and the right relationships for you Whew. some of you are going to be finding out that uh, um, your partner wants to go with an Aquarian, a Gemini, or a Libra. And 
they want to build a, a stability with this person and you're gonna feel a little bit you know throwed off but um, I, there, it, it is karma because uh, you left someone else for this person and this person left you for someone else so it's it's like a karma circle you're in with this person and this person left you for someone else who has um, social s standards where they're maybe in work for a better company but not really a better job but you know it's because of social standards why this person left you for that person or why they choose that person but they're going to realize so okay you're going to think whatever it is because you were just dating this person it wasn't nothing serious it was a dinner a movie you know shopping that's it fine it was an older person and um i was thinking okay that's how it is that's how it is and then let me leave it and that's what you're going to do and, and think you know it's good I'm good. It's good. Some of you are going to leave this person to connect with someone else in a much um, higher social standing. They're going to be pissed off. <laughs> you're about to create some karma for yourself that well, lady's gonna be pissed off see <laughs> she you know she's not gonna be very happy last week is destined coming up and you blonde ladies there's something that is going to destined to happen so it can teach you something about spiritual growth and it has to do with you blonde ladies are going to get yourself in a relationship where um, the wife or the husband is going to be coming after you so you ladies and it's going to teach you something about spiritual growth so destiny has to do that some of you your spirit guides is going to be bringing the right person in your life you blonde ladies are going to find in a strength because you could be dealing with an Aries Leo or a Sagittarian. You are dealing with an Aries Leo or a Sagittarian. And she found out that you're seeing her husband. Now, you ladies 45 years and, um, and older is going to be finding out that your partner is seeing this lady. And this is an Aries Leo or a Sagittarian. So if you're an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarian, you're going through a karmatic. Some of you could be married to this lady and it is a karmatic situation. Listen to your intuition about the situation. It's a karmatic situation. Okay? Definitely, some of you could be returning to an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius person. And it's as if your intuition is saying, go and reconnect with this person. It's good for you, it's better for you. Go and reconnect with this person. You blonde ladies, it's all about the money. All about the money. You blonde ladies, it's all about the money. And uh, what is transpiring is that you ladies, uh, all about the money. Okay? So whether you're blonde, 45, whether you're blonde or not blonde, 45 years and older, you're looking for financial stability in your world a lot of you are going to be um, um, a lot of you are going to be having the spiritual growth and this come through an older person that is 45 years and older and whatever it is it is a spiritual growth because it's teaching you something you're going to be learning a lesson from this relationship so you could be ending the relationship you could be coming um at the end of a divorce 
but you are learning something about this relationship that is going to make you be stronger going forward in your life in this in in another relationship in another marriage you know and 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 it's going to kick you back on your feet very very fast because of what you have learned because it's a spiritual lesson that you had to learn it's going to be affecting the men definitely the men it doesn't really matter what age you are but there is definitely something that's coming up in the fourth week that is uh, um, definitely going to be affecting you guys and it is a spiritual lesson a lesson that you needed to learn then we have the energy of the ice queen so some of you are definitely going to be um, connecting with people um, a woman um, in the legalities could be a lawyer it could be doctors whoever but you are leaving um, an Aquarian Gemini or Libra for this lady now there could be an offer coming in but and it is a it, it, this woman is a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn and it is the love of your life you it is as if uh, it is as if it's a past life relationship and a past life love you definitely definitely think that this person brings the magic in your world and whoever is coming in this new love is coming in is a past life and is a past life love and is some this love is so genuine very genuine very very genuine um some of you already make the decision that you are going to be either asking this person to be with you or reconnecting with a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn because this person you have known in past lifetime and it's also a past love and it's someone that makes you happy and makes you feel so good with yourself so um, they're going to be returning as a new love in your life however way that, that and it is it, someone who is a business person some of you is a lawyer doctor someone in the legal fields and some of you is a business person and you really want this person back in your life is it going to happen for you it can for some of you but for some of you it's as if it was destined and for some of you it's it's is, is it might take longer maybe not this month but maybe next month okay wow but new love is definitely coming in and whoever this person is they are going to be mystical very mystical the sex everything about them everything around them is just so mystical it's as if you're in a totally ship of dimension when they come in okay Wow, beautiful reading, you um, Cancer. So I'm saying, um, I'm wishing you guys a wonderful, wonderful um, month in love. Let me know how it goes. Cross watch, cross watch, and um, check out the download readings, um, the monthly readings, because those are going to be bringing wonderful positive energies in for you guys. And I want to say Namaste.